Hi, how are you? This is the first video that I'm going to make in English. So, well, if my English is not perfect, just forgive me. It's not my mother language. I'm Spanish, so let's see how it goes. But there's a lot of people who has been asking me how is it possible that I can have budgets and lovebirds together and if they can do the same and how can they do it. Uh, so I'm just going to explain you my experience and then you do what you want. There's a quote from Mark Twain that says they didn't know it was impossible so they did it. That's basically what happened to me. When I first got Paquito, my lovebird, um, I, it's, well, it was the first time that I had a lovebird and I didn't know they were so aggressive or so bad. So I had them I had my budgets already and I had my lovebird in a different cage but they were always together both cages cages were together so after like three months or something I had to go to the beach and I said I'm not going to the apartment in the beach with two cages uh, so today is the day that you are going to become friends yay so that's what I did I put both cages together I opened the the doors and I let them do what they wanted and I just waited to see what happened. I was very surprised uh, because Paquito went to the cage of the budgies and surprisingly it was the male budgie that started courting Paquito and he was very excited for him. So yeah, everything went okay. Uh, Paquito was kind of uh, trying to defend himself, but uh, nothing serious happened. Uh, Blobart, the female budgie, the blue one, the blue one she was like, eh, get up. <laughs> I want to have this crazy bird with me. But well, at the end, uh, Flink, the green budgie, went again to the cage of Pogito and I said, yeah, it's good enough. I was, anyway, I was supervising all the time and if something wrong happened I could just separate them. And they were like this for a few months until I decided to breed my budgies and then I, for security reasons, I just put Paquito again in a different cage so they would be alone and they, would, they wouldn't have distractions. Then they bred twice and then my purpose was to keep only two of the baby baby budgies. So the first time that I uh, introduced them, it was when the little budgies were already quite big. They had all the feathers. They were almost independent. So I let them meet each other outside the cage. And as you as you can see, uh, they were respecting each other, they weren't really doing many things together but at the end, uh, every time that, I, that they were out of the cage I tried to put them together and it went well and of course at the beginning there's always tension there's always that they try to bite the feet of the others but as long as if it's just that and it's not something it's too serious, so it went well. So that was in 2010, yes, and we are in 2016 and still they haven't killed each other. It has been six years that they have been living together every day and they get on very well, as you have seen in my videos. They bring each other, they feed each other. Okay, uh, sometimes they still like to bite their feet but I think it's just to spice things up <laughs> and Paquito, if he would be alone, he would be much uh, lonely and bored then no. they, they are together and they have fun together and it's good for the budgies also to spice things up in their cage <laughs> so in your case if you want to do the same, if yeah, as I say, always careful, always be there to see what happens. If it goes well, then it's okay. 
if they are very aggressive, they, if you see that they can harm each other, then separate them. It's so easy. And it always depends on your situation. I cannot tell you that it's going to, have to be right always. If you have a lot, a lot of budgets, a lot of if you have a lot of lovebirds and you want to put one or two budgets together, it may not be the best because it's right that lovebirds are a bit more uh, dominant or a bit more aggressive. But you can just try and see how it goes and decide yourself. I cannot tell you anymore. <laughs> so what do you think? Do you have more examples like this? Do you have other animals living together that go get along well or they don't get along well? Let us know in the comments. Write it here and see you soon! So that was my experience. I hope you liked the video. Let me know in the comments if my English was so bad. Let me know as well. <laughs> if it was good. It's always good to know. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching all my videos. I know that there are many videos in Spanish and you don't understand, but still you watch them. Thank you for that. And if you want to see more, subscribe and like. Thank you for watching. See you next video. See you next video. Bye.